the Babcock model, what is this? The Babcock model is proposed by a scientist named Babcock. He wanted to understand and explain why there is such a thing as sunspot cycle. Why every 11 years uh, the magnetic field is twisting and turning, it's changing. Why are we going through uh, every 11 years through a sunspot maximum, through a sunspot minimum? What's going on here? So it seeks to explain why the sunspots undergo a periodic cycle of minimums and maximums. And here is his answer. This cycle, <coughs> he explains this cycle as the periodic winding of the sun's magnetic field around the sun, just like a ball of yarn winds around the ball as a cat is playing with it. So imagine there's a ball of yarn and the yarn is kind of loose and then a cat loves playing with it so it starts rolling it and then the yarn winds itself up on the ball and then starts unwinding. Then winds itself, then unwinds, then winds and unwinds. That's kind of what's going on to the sun's magnetic field. That's a good visual. Remember, I showed you this earlier to show you how the sun spots are created, but let's start from here. What happens to make this thing start? Well, first you have a magnetic field like this, nice and easy, the magnetic field at the start of a cycle. Then sun's differential rotation begins to wind magnetic field below the surface. Remember, one of the things we noticed is that the middle of the sun rotates quicker than the ends. It's weird. The sun can do that because it's a gaseous object, you know. So the middle winds faster and then the ends rotate slower. So if that is happening, imagine you take a bunch of yarn and you start twisting the middle faster than the ends. What's going to end up happening is that yarn is going to start wrapping itself up and up and up weird in a weird fashion. And then you're going to have the subsurface magnetic field beginning to coil up on itself, you see. It coils up on itself. Winding continues. Only a single field line is shown for clarity. Well, what they're doing here is they're showing you only one, one of them. It basically gets really coiled up. Subsurface magnetic field now in coils. Coils develop kinks that break through the surface. That's how a lot of magnetic fields are created, you see? Coils develop kinks that break through the surface, and then when those kinks happen, they create sunspots. A lot of those kinks are going to happen. But eventually what's going to happen, as this winding continues, it's going to start getting uncoiled. And then when it gets uncoiled, the sunspots get less and less and less and less. You see? So that's basically the structure of the, um, uh, the Babcock model. This is another way of drawing that, similar. So the Babcock model, magnetic field starts easy, gets wrapped around gets all twisted up, twisted up, twisted up, then gets very, very twisted, okay? A lot of sunspots form, and then the cycle goes back. It gets untwisted, 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 then a, a, a sunspot minimum begins. Then it goes, it goes, it goes, gets twisted, then sunspot maximum begins, you see? Maximum. So how many years does it take to go from the top of the picture to the bottom? From here to there. The whole cycle takes 11 years, right? So it's about five and a half years to go from sunspot minimum to twist up, twist up, twist up, twist up, reach sunspot maximum. Five and a half years. And then to unwind, five and a half years, okay? And so the whole thing is done in 11 years. But after 11 years, the magnetic field has twisted itself. It's upside down. Okay, so then uh, now it's completely opposite to the way it was, and so the magnetic cycle takes 22 years, you see. So it's pretty complex. You wouldn't think the sun has all this weird stuff going on, but uh, a lot more complex than you would think, you know. 